Welcome friends to another 40k video. Today we look to Dawn and evidence he comes across relating to the Lost Legions. What is hidden even from a Primarch? Friends, let's find out. And a short spoiler warning for the short story. The Chamber at the End of Memory. Dawn is preparing for Horus to reach terror. And one crew are looking around redundant buildings to bring them down. Malka Dawn had told Dawn this area was to be left as it was fragile. The workers and Dawn are plagued by traps, but this does not slow the Primarch down. He finds a concealed long corridor, and some pressure or sense that he should not proceed, but he does, and finds two doors built for someone Primarch size, and upon the entrance were two symbols, two and eleven. Dawn, despite his father's decree, calls for a librarian, who sees and wakes through the traps, which Dawn defeats, the Primarch recalls the rooms being on the other side of the palace. Massac the Librarian senses the shadow of a very large psychic presence. Massac notes the numbers and the doors, and how to even speak of them is forbidden by order of the Emperor. How the lost Titans had fallen to twin tragedies, the reason unknown. Before Horus, the Emperor had lost two of his Primarchs and their associated brothers, their legionaries. Dawn says, my brothers, and places his hand on the door. And then Dawn wonders out loud how things could have been different with the lost with them, helping them to fight Horus. Dawn explains that he has quarters in the palace. The traitor's wounds are sealed, but these wounds should be elsewhere. Masak knew whose psychic signature was in this place. It was powerful. Malkador he had set the traps, the seals, they were both his doing. That moment is when the ever enigmatic Sigilite arrives. He says Rogel should not be there. Don says he knows the place, but his gene-enhanced memory can't recall. The librarian is dismissed, and dismissed by Malkador. Don is angered by Malkador also using his psychic powers on Don's son. The Sigilite says Don should not have gone into the corridor, and that it must be edited from history. Don says he lies. Malkador says Don wonders if he is a traitor, a schemer, a man out for himself. Don says he is partly right. And then Don says that this place is another buried secret. Malkador says he never lied to Don, but he did keep things from him. And that out of all the Primarchs, he admires Rogel the most. Rogel demands answers. Malkador responds, this place is hidden for good reason. The legacy of the lost holds within it many doubts, too many harsh truths that would be nothing but damaging to the balance of the precious Imperium. Now is not the time to pull those threads, son of Inwit. Don says he knew them, and the Sigilite asks a very interesting question. He says the Primarchs do not speculate about their kinsmen, and asks, had Dawn wondered why? And then he presses Dawn for the names and titles of his lost brothers. But the Primarch's memory failed him. There were only phantoms. Dawn, with horror, realises he does not know. The memory is there, but when he reaches for it, it is like smoke. He cannot grasp it. A Primarch knows every moment of their life. A gift from their father. Don says that Malkador is behind this. He says that he invaded the mind of the Imperial Fist's Primarch. The Sigilite says yes, both him and Rabute, and the others who met them, and says doing that to the mind of a Primarch was a massive Herculean task. He could not cut the memories out, but he could adjust them. This is why the rooms have been moved in Don's memory. And Malkador says that the Emperor did not stop Don. As the Sigilite tells it, the loss of the 2nd and 11th was such a wound upon us, and it threatened the ideals at the heart of the Great Crusade. It would have ruined all that we had built in the drive to reunite humanity and drive off our enemies. Steps had to be taken. He met Dawn's hard gaze. The legionaries they left behind, leadless and forsaken, were too great a resource to be discarded out of hand. They did not share the fate of their fathers. You and Rabute argued in their favour. But, do, but you do not recall it. Malkador nodded to himself. It fell to me to see that they were attuned to new circumstances. He says that they had a second chance, and I think that 
this is a hint, a clear one, that the Lost Primarchs legionaries, at least some of them, were subsumed with their memories amended into the Imperial Fists and Rebutis Legion. Amakadar then reveals that what he did was done at the command of Don himself, that he and Rebute gave Malkadar the permission to do what he did. And with cold detachment, Don knew within himself that it was true. That is a choice he would have made. Malkadar lets Don remember his brothers for a moment, then tidies away the memories again. Don knew the memories he had seen were real. The lost were gone, and it was well that they were, he thinks. And then he goes back to his speculation that if they had been with them, the war would have been lost. I'm thinking perhaps both would have sided with Horace for whatever transgressions they eventually made that caused the Emperor to make the choice he did. The Dawn then leaves and speaks to the librarian, giving him an order. Bury this place. It is only a tomb now. It will be forgotten. And that's where today's video video ends. It's always fun doing videos speculating about the Lost Legions and those little juicy nuggets of information we get about them. I think we've got a, a lot of interesting stuff here. Any thoughts? Want to put together into a big conspiracy theory? Well, drop me a comment down below and let's talk.